Hello, everyone. My name is Muzalem Amanza, and I'm the founder of Safe Motherhood Alliance. Meet Sarah. Sarah is eight months pregnant, and in a couple of weeks' time, a traditional birth attendant will cut her umbilical cord with a rusty blade and apply toothpaste for quick healing. For Sarah and her baby, there is no such thing as a routine pregnancy. Every year, 300,000 women and 2.7 million babies die during the brief winter period between a baby's birth and a baby's first month. The major point points are lack of access to sterile supplies, lack of access to medical personnel, distances to nearest health facilities, and the high cost. I know of this because it happened to me three and a half years ago when I was pregnant myself, and the hospital asked me to provide my own birth materials. No scalpel blade, no delivery mat, no gloves. I was lucky I had a healthy son, but I found it unacceptable that one in seven babies and one in 10 mothers died because of this. Our unique solution are baby delivery kits. They are able to reduce the three delays for mother and child survival by providing low cost appropriate technology tools for poor resource settings, sterile kits targeting pregnant women in low income communities and rural areas to access health facilities, training traditional birth attendants who are often on the front lines, carrying out unsafe childbirths and pose the highest risk in the communities. Our organization, Safe Mother Alliance, is a social enterprise that provides convenient, cost-effective, and complete sterile solution that is culturally appropriate. We're able to distribute our products to pregnant women in low-income communities and in rural areas, and provide them with access to sterile supplies and trained medical personnel in poor resource settings. Our products represent a 60% reduction in cost of supplies required for admission to a public clinic during childbirth. Local manufacture of key items in the kit, such as biodegradable sanitary pads and 3D printed umbilical cord clamps are what keeps the costs low. By doing this, we're able to reduce infections by 90% during home births through single use disposable kits. Our cradle to cradle design ensures quality and environmentally friendly products. Our products are delivered by trusted community members whom we identify through their previous experience in maternal care. We train on safe birth practices and connect them to the nearest health facilities so they don't work in isolation. We then upskill them into distribution agents, earning them an additional income. Our business model is threefold. We sell the baby delivery kits directly to pregnant women. We sell them to clinics and hospitals who then are able to provide them to pregnant women who want to access their health facilities so that they're not turned away. We also sell them traditional birth attendants who we also train on safe birth practices if they're going to encounter a home birth. Our mission at Safe Mother Alliance is to advance safe births for pregnant women in Southern Africa, ensuring that women like Sarah and myself are able to reduce unnecessary risks and complications during childbirth, increasing the survival rates of newborns within the first 28 days after birth. Our target market are pregnant women. Zambia has an annual birth rate of 1.2 million. 63% of pregnant women living in low income communities and rural areas give birth from outside of a health facility and are highest at risk. That's almost 750,000 women a year that can't access health facilities. They represent a $5 million and top market that needs access to sterile supplies for childbirth. We also target traditional birth attendants who attend to them in communities, but due to lack of adequate training and sterile tools are one of the leading causes of high infections and mortality rates. We want to change that narrative by equipping and training them with adequate tools to ensure they're able to deliver safe births, creating a triage of intervention for a pregnant mother. The total addressable market is in excess of $80 million in Southern Africa alone. In Zambia, with 63% giving birth from home, that's a $5 million market. We want to go after 20% of that market, 400,000 pregnant women by year 2023. During our pilot project, we were given the worst performing hospital in the district with a sample size of 1,000 pregnant women. 
we had a 100% success rate with no mother or newborn deaths recorded. This had a 5% increase in clinic and dental visits by pregnant women because they knew they would not be chased and would have dignity to be able to give birth at the clinic. The outcome saw the Ministry of Health integrating our model into the mother and child health programs, leading to a 15% increase in usage of sterile tools by traditional birth attendants for home birth. Our value chain is end to end as we manufacture the baby delivery kits at $5.50 and are able to sell them at a price point of $10, which is able to reach our target populations. We also manufacture the biodegradable sanitary pads locally using banana fiber. This ensures that we are able to reduce the cost and not pass it on to pregnant women who are very vulnerable in situations. Our distribution model includes traditional birth attendants who are trained and they become our distribution agents, earning a commission of 10% of every kit that they sell. Our consumers are pregnant women. Our kits cost less than $30 than any other alternative or option, providing quality assurance for safe delivery, regardless of whether it's a facility birth or a home birth. Our partners are a network of under-resourced health facilities that provide maternal health care services. We also provide pregnant women access to health care by ensuring they have kits, knowing that they will not be chased from a health facility. For every dollar invested into the value chain, we are giving more women the dignity and safety of a healthy birthing experience. Safe Motherhood Alliance was successful in launching operations in 2019. And since operations, we have successfully assembled and sold more than 20,000 birthing kits. We forecast assembling and selling 27,000 birthing kits next year in 2021. And by 2023, we look to sell 100,000 kits annually. Over the five-year period ending in 2023, Safe Mother Reliance would have provided kits to more than 200,000 expected mothers throughout Zambia. Safe Motherhood Alliance is already generating a modest profit, but really look to accelerate profitability in 2022. With the launch of Safe Motherhood's own manufacturing facility in 2021, we'll be able to bring most production in-house and significantly boost profitability. By 2023, we target earned income of 967,000 US dollars with a gross margin of 52% and operating margins of 38%. This clearly puts us on a solid path for both self-funding growth and sustainability. Safe Mother Alliance has successfully secured 90,000 US dollars since 2019. And in addition to this amount, we have 83,000 in funding that's pending. To execute Safe Motherhood Alliance's vision and plan, we estimate we'll need an additional 395,000 US dollars to fully cover all operating expenses, capital expenses, and sales and marketing costs through 2023. Note that 250,000 will be utilized to construct a plant and facility that will be able to manufacture most of the products in the kit. Upon completion in 2021, Safe Mother Alliance will have manufacturing capabilities that lower the cost of goods for our basic kits by 30%. Our team comprises of myself. I'm a civil engineer and have over five years experience working directly with rural communities. Mabel is a trained counselor and facilitator for traditional birth attendants, ensure that they're transforming not only lives, but communities as well. Benson is our programs manager with several years experience and he's our direct contact with the Ministry of Health, ensuring that we're able to scale up in 3,000 of the clinics in Zambia. Dr. Khan is our marketing and sales manager and as well as working with the women empowerment groups, ensuring they have safe deliveries in the communities. White is an HIV and AIDS peer educator and he's also our liaison officer with community leaders in rural areas. Mlangani is our m and &E officer, ensuring that we're able to track our social impact. I am an Echoing Green Fellow 2020, an Ashoka Fellow 2019, a Mandela Washington Fellow 2017, where I did my mentorship at University of San Diego in California. Our, one of our recent awards is the Global Citizens Award, which is awarded in 2020, slash GIA 2018, the Royal Academy of Engineering finalist, 2019, as well as Merck 
Foundation winner 2018. Our donors include the USADF and Phillips Foundation, who through their generous donations and grants enable us to carry out our work in the, the provinces that we work in Zambia. Safe Motherhood Alliance is seeking an additional funding of 395,000 US dollars required to expand and achieve scale. This investment will enable us to become financially self-sustaining in 2022 and deliver 200,000 safe births and lives impacted by year 2023. At Safe Motherhood Alliance, we believe pregnancy should not be a dangerous time for a woman in Africa. Please contact us for more information. Thank you so much for your attention.